President Trump invited the Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe to spend the weekend with him. The two have a lot to talk about, including trade and this travel ban. KCTV 5's Emily Sinovic is here now with the latest developments in the Trump's first 100 days. Another busy week. Now, the president is still reeling from the ruling yesterday to keep his immigration ban on hold. And of course, through Twitter, he vented, writing a quote from a legal blog, Lawfare, saying, remarkably, in the entire opinion of the panel, they did not bother to even cite the statute. He says it's a disgraceful decision. Then later in the day, while hosting a press conference with the prime minister of Japan, the president said he was confident his ban will eventually win in court. And he talked about making friends with another foreign leader. I had a very, very good conversation, as most of you know, yesterday with the president of China. It was a, a very, very warm conversation. I think we are on the process of getting along very well. And I think that will also be very much of a benefit to Japan. Glad to see he is making friends. Also, the president is promising new security measures to come in the next couple weeks. And what exactly that means? Anybody's best guess. But one possibility, instead of waiting for the courts to hash out whether or not that immigration ban is constitutional, he could just write up an entirely new executive order, essentially ordering the same type of ban, but worded to dodge the legal obstacles he's dealing with right now. But again, we have no idea. As we, the rest of the presidency has determined, it's anybody's best guess as to what's going to happen tomorrow. Yeah, I was kind of surprised to see they flew out so quickly after lunch today to uh, to, to, for, to go to vacation together in, together Florida? in yeah. Florida. So maybe we'll all get a little bit of a breather this weekend. If he's too busy golfing, maybe. You're with no with the prime minister. Orders. Yeah, we'll see. We Isn't will, of course, it? keep you posted, though. And that's something, Emily. Thank you for following it for us.